What's good and welcome back to another market review. This one's kind of late, but I'm gonna go over the price section we had today. And today we just ended up having and we just ended up selling off again today. And I'm not gonna lie, I was not really anticipating this, so most of this is in hindsight. Therefore, I'm a hindsight demon, and that's okay because I think if you really want to learn, you gotta look at these moves in hindsight. So there's nothing to there's nothing to um, be afraid of. There's nothing to be worried about if you didn't see these things happen live. But basically. Overnight, what do we do? We end up generating liquidity overnight, overnight, overnight. And then originally we end up respecting this new day opening gap. This yellow one is the current new day opening gap. And this is on ES, by the way. Then we end up coming up, taking buy side with an SMT, taking this buy side level right here. Notice how we don't take this high here. But we're rebalancing to this inefficiency right here. This is a 15 minute inefficiency. As you can see, we end up taking buy side, SMT. Smart money accumulates shorts above midnight opening price. As you can see, then we end up displacing through a new day opening gap, having a market structure shift on the five minute. We end up using this old low, which is a breaker, and this new day opening gap, and this fair value gap as resistance here, as true resistance. And we end up coming down um, and then selling off to the draw liquidity here. This is old lows, and then this is old lows as well. And notice these lows fall right above sell side liquidity pool. Then we come up right here, breaker, perfectly. New day opening gap, perfectly. This is the current new day, new day opening gap as well. And then we end up coming down. And then here we have a run here, lunch hour retracement up into 15 minute sell side imbalance. Then this is an old new week opening gap right here. I believe this is the previous, yes, this is previous week. And then we end up falling short of a sell side or this is a, um, a this is a fair value gap that we failed to close so we got very close to closing that but we end up having standard deviation projection that ends up being negative four and then at the end of the day macro we end up closing off that low back within that range back within that range taking buy stops buy stops then rebalancing to this inefficiency inefficiency right there so this was kind of the action that we had. We kind of had a New York reversal. And for me, I got a little bit discombobulated. I'm not going to lie. And that's okay. That's okay. This is where we learn. These are days when I can sit back and say, hey, I as a trader made a simple mistake. This is a simple shortcoming in my career. This is not the end of my career, but this is something that I'm able to learn from, to learn from. And I'm so glad that I'm able to learn from this experience. I'm so glad that experiences like this help me and push me to become a better trader because I know that being a trader does not mean that I have to be 100% correct. That is unrealistic. That is unrealistic. I am not a robot, so therefore I will never be 100% consistent, and so I will be satisfied when these mistakes come to me. And they're not mistakes. They're just short-term short -term setbacks to a, a long-term success and a long-term growth. So as we can see, this is the one minute, and the one minute looks a lot cleaner here. So we have originally market opens here at 9.30. You know, pushing up, taking buy side here, coming back down to this low right here. And I would say this is where patience comes into play. There's there's nothing really here. There's there's nothing really to take here. And look at what we end up doing. We end up creating equal lows here, equal lows. Equal lows are generated, and then... We just place up, imbalance right there, right at true day. Smart money is selling into this rally. They're selling, 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 selling. And then we take buy side here. After we've taken that other buy side liquidity pool, then this is where the SMT forms. We end up taking another pool of buy side. So we now have taken one, two, three pools of buy side liquidity. And we have an SMT. The market has no reason to head higher. There, well, it's more favorable to see lower prices. We've taken three pools of buy side liquidity within an imbalance here that we just now fully filled here. This is a 15 minute fair value gap. Then we have a shift in market structure after taking buy side. Where do we return to? Imbalance right there, 2022 model. And look at the speed here, look at the speed. But then we engineer lows right above sell side. Look at this, we have a glitch in the matrix. We have a volume imbalance right here, paired with new day opening gap, paired with this imbalance, paired with this breaker. 
then look here. We get a fair value gap into that level. And then we get a fair value gap out of that level. Then we have a imbalance right there that gets respected along with this inversion. Market structure shift, fair value gap. This is another 2022 model. Buy side taken, shift to market structure, fair value gap. Boom, we end up expanding to sell side right there. So two kind of nice models on ES. And I do, we do want to study NQ. And if we look at NQ, this is the opening range gap. So we originally open right here. Then we fastly, we, we reprice fastly. Sorry, that's not the right word. But we reprice fast to this new day opening gap. So, or this opening range gap. So originally we op up, open up and we are in a discount market. Yeah, we're in a, we opened above where we were yesterday. So therefore we would be in a pre premium, my bad. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know, I'm confused, confusing myself. But then we repriced lower, showing that we wanna probably head to a further discount into that range. And then SMT forms, showing mar smart money accumulation above midnight, midnight open. We're, we're respecting consequent encroachment of a 15 minute imbalance. And also note that this uh, fair value gap here, which I, I'm gonna do some more studying on this, but this is when we respect an imbalance from regular trading hours, but it's also there on electronic trading hours. And also I'm gonna show here, here's another 2022 model. Here, yes, we don't end up hitting terminus. Yes, we don't end up hitting buy side. But here, what is this? Sell side taken, shift to market structure, fair value gap right there below true day this doesn't end up hitting this high but 40 points is offered take profits partials could be taken we have an imbalance right there and then we form smt here and as we know we end up breaking down there and here are the one minute annotations on nq kind of the same thing um they both we both put they both put in a low right here and also there was an smt here there's an smt that i want to point out that i forgot to mention but so there's smt there so here we come up this is constant encroachment of a 15 minute imbalance we end up forming smt here showing smart money accumulation then we end up repricing lower imbalance right there order block and then boom then we come back up what do we have imbalance here breaker new day opening gap this is the current new day opening gap as well and then we end up distributing lower Distributing lower. And here is the lunch hour. And what, is, what does lunch hour normally do? Lunch hour normally runs on stops, runs on profitable stops. What have we done? Shorts are profitable right now. People that are holding short positions are profitable. So therefore, we're going to reprice likely uh, inefficiency or uh, old high. And as we see, it's not really like an old high for us to target. So we kind of we might rebalance the equilibrium, or we might reprice the equilibrium of this range. So I think that's where we headed. I never marked mapped that out in my annotations, but as you can see, kind of same same thing. We end up taking that sell side liquidity pool. We end up taking sell side again, here. Notice that we do have a shift in market structure here. We do have a shift in market structure here. This imbalance does fail. This imbalance does fail. This is just that first state. This is that first leg to generate liquidity, and then come back down, take that sell side again. No shift to market structure. Come back down again. Then we get that shift to market structure, and now this has an SMT. The 1150 macro provides a turning point in the market. Notice the 1150 macro. Then we end up having this SMT showing smart money accumulation below midnight open, and here we have it. Market structure shift, fair value, simple, simple. 2022 model right there. We end up repricing this fair value gap right here. That alone is 75 points. That alone is 75 here. And then I believe we don't make it up to this inefficiency right there. And then this is a old new day opening gap that we repriced to to the tick. Look at this new day opening gap. And then we have imbalance right there after a market structure shift. Notice how this, this move right here, within the 1250 macro, fails. It fails. That, that would have been a failed model. This is another first leg to generate liquidity and come back up to take buy side. 
do want to note the sell model. Here's that new day opening gap that we mentioned. And then we also have a farther new day opening gap that we almost put a high in at. And I didn't annotate this in this chart, but we end up having an SMT with DXY. So we have a DXY SMT here. Buy side, buy side taken one, two, three drives. We then break down, shift to market structure. And I do want to note how this 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 leg does fail. I'm not ignoring that this this original leg fails here. This is a leg to generate liquidity, and it is within the 1250 macro. So say, hey, buy side taken, shift to market structure. Okay, I, I followed the model, or I followed a model that I, I stick to, and I end up taking a loss. That's cool. You're human. It, it's cool. Here, then we have buy side taken, shift to market structure. Notice how we've people probably chase this one right here. People probably chase this one right here. And also on top of that, another confluence is maybe you just wait for the PM session. We then end up manipulating above the 130 opening price. This is right here. Draw that out in time. That's above the 130 opening price. So here we want to be involved within the PM session. We know the PM session starts at 130. There's likely going to be probable moves within the 130 to 4 PM session. This is kind of insignificant. This is kind of lunch hour. But also, that isn't fair because that is this is hindsight. So stick to the model. If you follow the model and you took a loss here, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then I do want to note here how every rally, every rally in a sell program is to either take buy stops, is either take short-term buy stops, or to rebalance to an inefficiency. Here we have that change state delivery. Here we have that market structure shift. What do we do? We respect this imbalance here. We actually respect it. Here, we did not respect an imbalance. So we respect an imbalance. That's kind of some more confirmation that we could be in a sell model here. We have repriced that new day opening gap. That's what price is really aiming for. And then we respect this. The rally was here to rebalance this inefficiency. Here, this rally is to rebalance this inefficiency and to take the buy stops here. Here we have a rally, rebalance the inefficiency. Here we have a rally, rebalance an inefficiency. Or reprice more more or less to an inefficiency. Here we have taking buy stops here. Short term buy stops. Notice where this is happening as well. We end up having a consolidation and a stop on around fifty percent of the implied dealing range. So from this high to low, at around fifty percent, we end up having a stop on here. And this should be on that low, sorry. But I somehow I anchored it to that body right there. Same thing again. Short term rally. There might be a smaller time frame inefficiency there. Then we come up, take buy stops, and this imbalance here. Repricing lower from this high to low, negative one, boom. You end up getting a negative one standard deviation. From this body low to this body high, yes, cherry picking, I know. We have negative one right there. This is the 250 macro. Notice how the 250 macro, we deliver sell side liquidity. And then after that, you know having a reversal in the market on closed macro, engaging this liquidity that has not been engaged yet. We've just had two big down close candles on NQ for this day. So therefore, hey, we might, we might, we might generate a wick on the daily chart. I don't like to trade market on closed macro or really look to trade market on closed macro, but this is just a study and observation. And coming up, taking my side here, into this new day opening gap again, and then we end up closing off of this. So we take buy side at 350, and look at what 350 does. Spools back inside that range. And here is the daily profile we end up having. And note that we did leave equal highs. So we had equal highs originally, but we had all this low resistance liquidity. Price then breaks down here, showing manipulation above these above these highs. We leave equal highs. It's okay for us to leave equal highs when we have quote unquote momentum here. So we've already broke down lower. This is just a retracement. We're more likely going to continue to that draw on liquidity with this bearish momentum that we have than to come back all the way up to these highs. More likely. Because these equal highs are not really that significant. But I guess at the time, and this is kind of where I went wrong, is I was so focused on the equal highs. So that's just something to note. And even though I technically didn't get it right today, that's cool. That's cool. I can sit back and say, hey, this is something for me to learn from. 
This is something for me to grow from. And I'm glad that I'm making the mistake right now than later in my career. I'm glad that I'm mature enough to be able to take a lot or not even take a loss, but I'm glad that this does not hurt my ego to where I cannot, I, where I have to be right about everything within the market. No money was lost on this. No money was lost. Just experience, just knowledge, and just now more understanding of, of, of what equal highs really mean. So yeah, here's the profile. Key studies, when equal highs can be left, power three. I also want to add one thing that I didn't put in there is when 2022 models fail. And that's what I want to add. So yeah, that was the market review today. Hopefully you all have a good one. And I will see you guys in the next one.